Microsoft want to make collaboration as frictionless as possible, going beyond the confines of a traditional document and traditional workspaces. So that's why they're introducing Microsoft Loop. Let's make some sense of this. Microsoft Loop is a new application that provides collaborative canvases to bring documents, business information, and co-authored components together. It uses workspaces to organize content and loop pages as a canvas, uh, formerly known as fluid documents. Create a workspace for your project, add a page or a canvas, bring or begin type on a page with text, and it's using a loop component. Add other loop components into the page, documents, notebooks, files, links, and whiteboards. So this demonstration, it's got some dizzying number of Easter eggs and things going on. Definitely slow it down and take a, a little time to understand what's going on here. But Microsoft Loop is definitely um, going to be a new way of working, trying to bring content together. See those loop pages, they truly are canvases. And this follows a trend that we are seeing in the design industry where products like Figma um, and a newly announced one by Adobe uh, Creative Cloud Canvas, these provide freeform canvases to bring together graphical assets and ideas that a team can work on. It feels like Microsoft is, uh, or Microsoft Loop, is positioning to become the collaborative canvas for productivity. Um, it couldn't come at a better time, really, because we really do need more uh, ways to connect and to work freely with less friction during these hybrid working scenarios. Uh, and you know, beyond the traditional office experiences that we have today. So let's take a look at um, this in a bit more slow motion rather than that very rapid marketing video. Um, what we uh, see within um, Microsoft Loop is an application that provides a workspace, a page and components so this is a canvas, this is the, the, the Microsoft Loop canvas, and we can start to type and add different components. We can also add links and um, references to other documents as well. So think of this as the canvas that brings it all together. Um, your text around it, of course, can provide more context. And here is what we're seeing as Loop components, formerly known as live components or fluid components. As we type, we can easily find people that are part of the project and then bring in other uh, loop components as well from different business applications to bring the information together on the page. Um, so that, like I look at this and I think it's very much like um, Miro boards and boards which can bring people together. Uh, and you can see the pointers dragging around and the like and shuffle things around as you're trying to co-author the content together. Interesting to see live reactions come in there too to have a bit of fun. But we have seen this demonstrated in different places, and now we can also see where it starts to fit uh, across the different Microsoft 365 applications. That if we were creating all of these live components, now called loop components, across these different experiences within Microsoft 365, how is it all going to come together? You know, how, how would we access these documents and continue to edit them, these uh, loop documents or loop pages um, and how do we bring all those components so that we're not trying to remember which conversation or which application we we're trying to to um, do this collaboration within so I like that Microsoft loop brings that together and makes that possible um, I know that there's going to be a lot more coming out to make sense of this but this was just some of my first reactions and thoughts um, so let me know what you think, um, and do uh, pass some comments in the comments below uh, as we try and make sense of this new product and see where it fits within our ways of working in the Microsoft 365 modern workplace. Anyway, you know where to find me, you know what to do. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now.